In this video, I'm gonna show you how to space the field really, really, really well out of the U-Trips formation to be able to attack man coverage, zone coverage. You don't need any abilities to run this tip, okay? Uh, I know a, guy, a lot of guys have said, you know, now that we got mutt practice mode, now we're not gonna be getting any content for regs or for CFM. This play works in regs, in mutt, in CFM. You don't need any abilities to run it whatsoever. I would also say that in general, um, mutt is just basically a more enhanced version of regs. Um, and to a degree, sometimes in some ways more enhanced than CFM. Uh, CFM, I think, has some things in it with, which is decent as well. But the point being is you can take a lot of the concepts from these videos and apply them um, to pretty much any game mode. That's why we teach this stuff on YouTube. Now, if you want to get my full uh, U-Trips formation, uh, my U-Trips ebook is in the Patreon. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is in the description. That will get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So I'd really encourage you to check that out. Uh, today we're taking a look at some man and zone beaters out of U-Trips that is really effective for the current meta. And again, 10 bucks to get you access to everything in the Patreon. I'd really encourage you to get it. I think it's a really, really good deal. All right, why option wheel is the play we're going to be taking a look at. This is a very versatile play within this formation. And whenever you run, whenever you run U trips, you want the ball. You want to have your solo receiver to the short side. So if the ball is on the left hash, then you want to run your U trips normal. But if the ball is on the right hash, then you would want to flip the play so that you can have the optimized uh, spacing. Now this setup is actually really, really, really simple, but this play will literally break down every coverage in the game. Now we're going to start with man-to-man, -man just because I think that's what's most popular. So what we're going to do is we're going to streak our tight end, and we are going to drag our outside trips receiver. That's it. That's the setup. And what you're going to see here is if it's a man coverage, we're going to be able to hit this. Um, we're going to be able to hit this little post route over the middle of the field. So we'll show you that again. Um, obviously, I got some KOs as well on my ultimate team. But by and large, when he beats him, as long as you pass lead him open, he's going to be open. So you have the post route, one of the best routes in the game, one of the best routes in the game for beating man-to-man. -man. So they're going to have to drop some zones, right? There may be some adjustments that they make. Um, but what you also see here is I have this tight end clear out streak. If I want to try to take a chance, I can try to highball that high that tight end. We know in this year's game, especially let's say I'm getting pressured, like let's say that I'm getting blitzed here. Uh, this is actually something really, really uh, important. So if I'm getting blitzed on this play, um, and they're gonna their user is gonna have to go, you know, probably either to the post or to the back quick out of the backfield, right? So what you're going to be able to do is it's going to leave this one-on-one -on -one where you can hit this tight end for an aggressive. As soon as that guy turns his hips, then we can try to ag them with our tight end over the middle of the field. That's another reason why this play is so good. And I'll show you a little bit better version of it here uh, in just a second. So again, we're just going to set up the coverage. And then what you'll see here is the streak from the tight end. Again, you see how he turns his hips immediately? Then you can do stuff like that, okay? Um, obviously, if they're blitzing you, right, you have one of two options. If it's a man blitz, really we're looking to try to hit our tight end up the seam quick. If we can't do that, then we need to start working our zone reads, uh, which we're going to get into here in just a second. So against zone coverage, what you want to do is we're really essentially, this is kind of almost like a shallow cross concept, but essentially, we're looking to the running back. That's not there. Now we're looking at this little drag over the middle. And we're going to basically have a high-low between the post route and the drag coming over the middle of the defense. So if their user, which is this is very common, if their user says, I've got to go stop the uh, post, then now you have this little void over here where this drag is coming into. Um, you're going to see this also in a cover three, for example. When I'm playing a cover three, what I want to do as a user is I want to make sure that they can't throw that post route because that's the biggest, um, that's the big play possibility here. So I'm going to go guard the post, and when I do, as long as I have enough time, um, I'm going to be able to hit Jalen Waddle coming over the middle of the field. We'll show you that again. Again, cover three sky here. And um, you will see this, uh, this little drag or in route, as long as I have enough time. And right there, I think I actually put him on in route. I need to put him on a drag. That's why you want to drag him, um, because if you don't drag him, then you're going to get, um, you know, he's not going to get open in time. The sheds are a little bit beefed up and practical, just so you know. Now, if they don't use her square, as you can see right there, that tight end 
is going to serve as a clear out for cover four, cover three coverages. Um, so you're going to be able to hit that in that spot. So now, again, they have to use the post route deep. There's not really a, a ton of zones in this game, um, or even main coverage that's going to play it. And then as you see right there, my drag's coming wide open. We're still getting sh practice mode. You know, practice mode's great for Madden. They still haven't fixed practice mode jets. They still, like, are still in just absolutely insane. Um, so just for fun, we're going we're gonna to not blitz everybody. But you see right in that little window right there, if they're dropping 7 to 8 in coverage... That's going to be a really nice little read for you. So this play really does a great job at breaking down man and zone coverages. Uh, I did want to show you against the blitz. You have these quick reads, right? I can throw that quick out to the back. So now they have to account for the quick flat uh, to the left side. So if they're going to play zone, uh, if they're going to play zone, right, then we're going to be able to do something like this. So now we've got two hard flats on both sides. And then what's going to happen is when they have two hard flats on both sides, then you're going to notice here that now my drag is open really quick into this play because they have to use the tight end or they have to use the post at the snap to be able to carry into anything else. So they're either going to be leaving the running back open or they're going to leave that little drag open. If everything's covered, oftentimes your post is going to break down the defense just like that. I want to thank you for watching the video, guys. The U-Trips ebook, you can get that by joining the Patreon. The link is in the description below. It's only $10 uh, to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of the Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks that we have in there. We have over 20 ebooks right now. We're releasing new content, new material every single week. So make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you over at the Patreon page.